A good woman is not easy to find. Uh -huh. You have to snatch her from a careless man. Mm. My brother, uh -huh. snatch her. Snatch her! Snatch her! <laughs> snatch her. <laughs> snatch her. <laughs> you are running! <laughs> And I know the fight that I'm up against. I'm in a space where I just want peace and just want to be happy. And then I want everybody around me to be happy. That way, every moment that we have and wherever we're at, we're having fun and we're enjoying life and knowing none of this can promise. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, and maybe not the next month. But only one thing is true. I will be champion one day. I promise. I promise. As long as God wakes you up and give you air to breathe, you can turn the boat around. You can. We did not come this far to just break down and lose now. I'm a winner. I'm going to win. Now if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits. And not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you! You're better than that! Now go out there and show me how you do things. Show me how you live. Show me how you fight. You show you how I fight? Yeah. Show me who the f you are. When that alarm clock goes off at 4 or 5 in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you want to go, the amount of pain involved, the amount of mental pain, of how many times you're gonna have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go. There's gonna be more times you do stuff that you don't wanna do than you are gonna wanna do it. That's your new norm. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't wanna live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. I have learned to trust God so much in everything. I've learned to not rely on my understanding yeah to rest in him sometimes god just wants us to rest yeah in him always remember this verse during difficult times romans 8 18 the pain that you've been feeling can't compare to the joy that's coming remember there is nothing in this world that can hurt you as much as your thoughts and there is nothing in this world that can heal you as much as your thoughts. Good night, you extraordinary badass motherfucker. It's time to power down and recharge for another day of kicking life's ass. Reflect on your wins, say screw you to the setbacks, and tuck yourself into bed like the absolute fucking legend you are. Dream big, wake up ready to conquer, and remember that you're a fucking powerhouse. Sleep tight, you glorious son of a gun, and get ready to unleash hell on tomorrow. Don't let life stop you from living life. All that you feel, all that you're carrying, all that you've seen, all that you've heard, all that you've been exposed to, you're carrying it, you're processing, you're triggered by it, it's all still there. But do yourself a favor and make the decision that you're not going to let life stop you from living life. We will win, because we will hit all game. We are motivated. We are dedicated, yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. We will win. Yeah. We are the best on the field. Yeah. And we get the field like who? Yeah. All day like who? Yeah. All night like who? Yeah. On the blue light like, who? Yeah. On the best light like, who? Yeah. This best light like, who? Yeah. This blue light like, who? Yeah. Call like, who? Yeah. In the sound light 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 like, who? Yeah. Enjoy every moment you have. Because in life, there are no rewinds, only flashbacks. Make sure it's all worth it. You're tired? Great. Get to work. You're heartbroken? Great.
get to work. Because if you can show up to work every single day, despite of what you're going through, you're going to develop an unstoppable version of yourself. So when real hard times come, not just people's opinions, but real hard times, you will not only be ready for it, but you will dominate those hard times. You'll make it look easy. People will look at you and be like, what are you? And you're going to respond by saying, I'm just that person that was willing to work a little bit harder than you. You're going to want to go ahead and add this one to your favorites. You might want to come back to it. Check this out. Once you understand the power of your words, you won't just say anything. Once you understand the power of your thoughts, you won't just think anything. But once you understand the power of your presence, you won't just be anywhere. Think about that. Five years. That's how much time you get if you're lucky. 75 years, 75 winters, 75 springtimes, 75 summers, and 75 autumns. When you look at it like that, it's not a lot of time, is it? Don't waste them. Get your head out of the rat race and forget about the superficial things that preoccupy your existence and get back to what's important now. Right now, this very second. And I'm not saying drop everything and let the world come to a grinding halt. I'm saying that you can become a seeker. You can be loving more. You can be taking some chances. You can be living more. You can be spending more time with your family. You can be getting in touch with the part of you that lives instead of fears. The part of you that loves instead of hates. My mom told me this. Hate has four letters, but so does love. Enemies has seven letters, but so does friends. Lying has five letters, but so does truth. Failure has seven letters, but so does success. Cry has three letters, but so does joy. And negativity has ten letters, but so does positivity. You always have a choice, so choose the better side of it. we're finally going to realize that men are no longer afraid to be single. I mean, yes, they want you, but they don't need you because they would rather step back, build themselves up, and then decide if a woman is worth it. And that man is dangerous because he will see right through your pretty face, your manicured nails, and your sexy outfit. And it is only when he knows that you are being real with him that he will put everything on the line. Hey, bro, I need you to get back in that mode again. That mode where nothing can take you off your pivot, you were just putting in that work every single day. See, that version of you is different. You got to tap back into it. Don't be out here playing with your potential because you're one of the ones, bro. You special. And you weren't meant to be a person that could have been the one. You are the one. So I need you to get back moving like it before it's too late. Life is too short. Yeah. Life is too short. We got too much to do in this world to be worried about the dumb shit. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite quotes to this day. God will put you back together in front of those who broke you. That hurt, you know? And I think that just that flipped the switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you, watch this. Stay away from people who benefit from you and behave like you've never given them anything in 2024. Stay up all night, tell myself I'm alright Baby, you're just harder to see than move Child of God, wait, don't screw You, I'm talking to you I know you didn't come from a rich family But a rich family will come out from you God is never blind to your tears So don't stop believing in the existence of God Yes, greatness is ahead of you I'm having a strong feeling that people will come back to your life after being disappointed by those they thought they were better than you. If you believe in this words, comment amen under this video and share to someone. Be a believer. You are not what other people call you. You are not even what you've called yourself. Only the one who created you has the right and the authority to identify you. So for a few minutes this morning, I just came to remind you what your name is. I came to remind you who you are. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. You are not defined by your past. You are not defined.
defined by your behaviors. You are not defined by your failures. You are not defined by your struggles. You are not defined by your feelings. You are not defined by your circumstances. You are not defined by the here today, gone tomorrow, false ideologies and watered down philosophies of our current culture. You are who God says you are. It don't matter what other folks have been calling you. And it doesn't even matter what you've chosen to call yourself. There's only one who has the authority to identify you and it's the one who gave life to you. Others aren't qualified to name you. Circumstances aren't powerful enough to define you. Your story may have hurt you, but it does not shape the totality of who you are. You are who God says you are. And he says you're a chosen race. You're a royal priest. Should. You're a person who has been redeemed and chosen, adopted and qualified. You are not a mistake. You are not an afterthought. You are not a liability. You are a temple of the Holy Spirit of God. And the value he has placed on you means you are enough.